Hi, welcome to the Berkshire. We developed this video just for you to answer all of your frequently asked questions. In this video, you are gonna learn everything that you need in order to have a great experience at our vacation rental. So let's get started. We're gonna get you into the house first. So the first thing is the access to the door. Now you're going to be um, given the access code via text or and, and email on the morning of your check-in date. So in order to work the lock, you would have, you're gonna enter in the code. So it's very easy. You'll see a check mark and you'll hear the door unlock. Now the door is open. To lock the door from the outside, you just simply press the lock button and you'll hear it lock. The very first thing that you're gonna see is this wall-mounted folder here, and it has the guest binder, and it's got a lot of good information for you in order to use the things around our house. This is the air purifier unit that you will find in our home, and it should be on and set at 2,000 square feet for you when you get here, and the fan on high. There's nothing that you need to do, just wanted to let you know that this is here for your stay. So we realized that sometimes messes happen and so we wanted to provide you with some cleaning supplies so that you can clean up any small messes or spills that may occur during your stay. And you can find those cleaning supplies underneath our kitchen sink here. Okay, so I just showed you the cleaning supplies and now I'm gonna show you the cleaning tools that are available for you to use. There's a vacuum cleaner here, we have mop, broom, dustpan, and you can find all this inside the laundry room area. All right, so in order to control the temperature in the house, you're gonna find this thermostat that's located right beyond um, bathroom number two when you walk in from the main entrance. This one unit is gonna control the entire house, the temperature. You can control the heat or the air. It is all central air and heat here. To do that, you're gonna press this dotted, the three dots, that button there, and it will show a heat sign for the heat, then you can toggle up and down using the up and down arrows to control the temperature. If you press it again and you see the symbol for the um, snowflake, then that is the cooling. And then again, you can control the temperatures with the up and down arrow. Okay, so this looks like the thermostat to control the house, but it's not, and it's labeled fireplace thermostat only. There are three fireplaces located in this home, one on the main level, one on the lower level where the game room is, and then one on the upper level in the master bedroom. And they are all controlled the same way. Um, very similar, you're going to press the um, mode button and it'll show the temperature and that is the temperature in the room. In order to turn the fireplace on, you're gonna hit that mode button again and you'll see a heat sign and a temperature. You need to increase the temperature so that it is above the room temperature and then wait about five seconds, five to 10 seconds for the fireplace to come on and the fireplace will then come on. In order to turn it off, you just simply decrease the temperature so that it's below the room temperature and the fireplace will turn off. Every single room has a smart TV. This is the living room TV, and the living room TV is special because it has Disney Plus already loaded on for you, for your viewing pleasures and movie nights or whatever that you'd like to have with the family. So simply turn on the television, and it should already be logged in for you. Um, you'll hit the home button on the remote, and select Disney Plus, and then voila, you are in, and you can help yourself to any show on Disney Plus that you would like to, to watch. If you don't wanna watch Disney Plus and you'd want to watch um, Netflix, let's say, you can just hit the home button and then you will select Netflix, and then from there you can log on to your own account and enjoy whatever Netflix show you'd like to watch. All right, so here we're at these doors by the porch area in the kitchen dining area, and they're called Anderson doors. They're a little bit finicky and hard to work, so we thought we'd include it on this video for you. When you come in, the door should be locked. To unlock it, you simply turn the lock and then push down, and it opens. To lock the door, a little bit trickier. You're going to push up on the handle, but then you're gonna go a little bit farther until you hear it 
click like that. And, and you saw how I had to actually use quite a bit of force. So don't worry, use that force, get it to click. Then you can simply turn the um, lock and the door is locked. Now, what vacation is gonna be complete without family photos or friend photos? So we have created this Instagram mural for you all so that you can remember your awesome vacation together. So make sure that you tag your photos at Poconos Berkshire. So every single vacation rental has a playroom for adults, like a pool table, a shuffleboard table, but we wanted to think about the kids. So we created this awesome playroom just for kids. We have a toddler area jungle gym, and then on this side, we have a elementary school age jungle gym for your kids to keep them busy for hours while you get to enjoy yourself with your friends. They get to enjoy themselves as well. Um, just a couple of things to notice though, some, some things I wanted to note on this. It is for children, so please adults refrain from climbing on these. Um, I know it's very, very, very tempting to do that, but we ask that you let the kids play here and you play in the other room. And then this is all play at your own risk as well, so please make sure that your kids are safe and that you're watching them while they're playing. All right, now it's time for some fun. We're gonna go outside and check out the hot tub, but in order to do that, you need the key. So here's the key, it's hanging on this hook up here, and we're gonna go and unlock the hot tub. Put the key back where you found it after you unlock the hot tub so you don't lose it. And you can keep the hot tub unlocked for the duration of your stay. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you can control the hot tub. And we've got two buttons here, one says one and the other one says two. You're gonna hit the, the one that has a number one on it to start it and that starts up the jet on low. I think it, it starts up the jets on the right side and then if you hit that number one button again, all of the jets should be engaged. Then hit it again and that'll turn the jets off. The one that has number two actually doesn't control any of the jets so don't use that button. In order to control the temperature, there's an arrow up and down button here, and you're going to hit the up button and hold it. Oops, there we go. Hit it and hold it, and then it'll increase the temperature to whatever temperature you'd like it to be. In order to decrease it, you're gonna hit the down arrow and hold it. And then there's a button here for the lights. You just hit it, and you'll see the lights around the tub. Hit it again and it'll turn the lights off. Uh, I just wanna draw your attention to this floater thing here in the tub. It is a bromine float, which acts like chlorine to help keep the hot tub environment clean. So please do not remove that bromine float. Leave it in and you should be good to go. Um, we typically will have our temperature set at 90 degrees when you come here. If you'd like it higher than 90 degrees, Please go ahead and increase the temperature right away because it may take just a little bit of time for the temperature to increase. That way, the hot tub is gonna be perfect for you when you need it. Please remember that when you're not using the hot tub, it's a good idea to keep it closed so that the heat stays in. When you arrive during check-in, you'll notice that the trash cans are actually very clean inside of here. Um, that's because we don't want to have bears come visit us. So. Just make sure that all of your um, trash is bagged and you, if you, as you place them in here and that there are no leaks because if the trash cans get extra dirty and our cleaners have to spend extra time rinsing them out, unfortunately that's gonna be a charge to you and I really don't want you guys to get charged. So please remember to do this. Thank you. I hope that you enjoy your stay at our vacation rental. It's really a great space for you and your guests. When it comes time, 
to check out, I just wanted to let you know and remind you that our checkout procedures are in our guest binder. So please look that up to make sure that you follow our checkout procedures. I just wanted to highlight a few important items. Number one, please check for all of your personal items before you leave so that you don't forget anything. Um, and then number two, trash. Please make sure that you pick up all of your trash and that they're all bagged. We don't have recycling here, so that will have to go in a bag as well and place them in the receptacle. All trash should go there. And then lastly, you are our guest here um, at our house and we just want you to enjoy your stay, but we do expect that you are gonna leave our home in the same condition that you found it or better. Thank you.